Welcome on Travels and Code channel. In this video, we will start creating our first application on JavaScript. It will be simple hello world. So, what do we need to start and create our first application in JavaScript? So, it's as I mentioned before, we need text editor, some simple text editor. In my case, it's just Sublime. You can use any other simple text editor you have. So, as I mentioned before, JavaScript works in browser, in web. So, in web, we are running HTML pages. The first one, what we need, we need to create HTML page. The simple, so let's create this HTML page. Let's do it smaller. It's just a HTML page with nothing. Let's save it. We will call it to um, hello HTML and uh, documents. It's fine. Save it. And uh, the next what we need, we need run this application. So let's open in browser. Okay, we have URL and now it's absolutely empty. Let's check is it the same page. We will add them. Save. Reload. Yes, it's our application. So the first thing what we need to learn about JavaScript, how to embed JavaScript into HTML page. And the simplest and uh, only one way is with tag script. So let's write a script. And um, what do we have? Sublime automatically added one property is type, which specifies text JavaScript. It means that everything what will be inside this text script and the cloth script, it will be JavaScript. So let's create our first application. It will be just alert. Hello world. And let's save it. Reload our application. And what do we see? We see model window with text hello world. We put this text into alert function and we have results. That's okay. And this is it's the simplest application. As you see, we do not need anything to run our application. We don't need the IDE, we don't need install language, we don't need to compile this language, we just say a file, open it in browser and it works. The next word what, what I want to mention, let's talk a bit about this script tag and how we can use it. So the first one is this type text JavaScript. Right now it's absolutely useless part and we can skip it because of browser by default works with JavaScript. So in the, nowadays, you can remove it and leave just script and it will be the same. Let's check, save, reload, yes, works as it worked before. The next one. The next one, what I want to mention, another approach how we can include JavaScript with tag script. So right now we put everything in inside tag script, but usually we don't use this approach. As a rule, only the simplest script are put into HTML, like this one. More complex ones reside in separate files. So the benefit of a separating file in that, that browser will download it and store it in its, its cache. So browser has cache and when it downloads file, it puts this file into cache and when other pages refers the same script, they will take the script from it from downloaded cache and they won't make a call through the network to get this file. So we will improve our performance and the downloading speed. Also we reduce traffic and make page faster. So how we can save our script in another file and include it. To do it we need to create new file. Let's create file new file. It will be, let's save it in the same documents. We will call it hello jazz. Save and uh, we will copy our script from HTML, delete it here and uh, put in hello jazz. And in our JS script, we need to add another prompt its source. 
and everything what we need we need just to put a file path to the file into the source tag and then close script let's save it and try okay we need to put a path to the file into our source parameter so if we have in the same folder we can just put hello jazz as we saved it in documents folder save it and uh, reload so and we see the same result so it was the simplest way how you can create your javascript and also just to sample after our javascript we can put any other html and it works so you see this hello world we have our html and uh, we have the rest of the document one more thing i want to mention that we have source and you can think that we can put something inside but let's try it and it doesn't work so we see the result from hello jazz but we don't see this result that's why because of we can use either external sources to external files or we can use just inline this javascript so we can combine two options you need to choose one of these options to solve the problem you can create another script tag and just move script to another tag and uh, it will solve your problem Reload, hello world to problem is solved so it was the simplest way how you can create javascript application but summary what do we know we can use script tag to add javascript code to a page type tag attribute is not required right now so we can replace this tag and uh, a script is an external file can be inserted into our page with the script attribute source so in the future we will put all our scripts into separate files and include these files into our application so thank you for watching